Hi, and welcome to another episode of Average Previews. Now, today's Average Preview is a little bit different. As in, this is a game you probably wouldn't have expected in this series, but I thought that why not show it, right? Now, this is called Plantera. It's 3 euros on Steam, and it's by Varact. Varact P. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And it's um, a clicker idle game of sorts. Now, I edit and render a lot of videos. So, what do I do in the meanwhile on PC? That depends on whether I need that video done... Whether I need that the render to complete quickly or slowly. If I need it to be uh, completed quickly, then I play clicker or idle games. Because uh, these games do not affect the render times at all. But at the same time, I personally think that they are fairly fun. And this is one of such games, which I recently received. And I've been playing it for, an, for a bit. Not a lot, I have been uh, online here for about 5 hours, I think, or 4. Note, I have been online, I haven't... These are games you don't have to actively play, you can just keep them in the background, because they take little to no resources from the computer. So, I often have an idle game running, because minimized, or... Or even overnight, just collecting stuff. I want to show them off and my progress in them, in the better ones. There are a total of, with this game, there are a total of six good clicker or idle games, in my personal opinion. Which I have found anyway, so far. So, what is the point of Plantera? Well, you have these. You have uh, crops, you have bushes, and you have trees. And animals. What was that? And you... You buy them. You can uh, put the crops here. For example, I have crops here. I'll... Expand this to show you exactly. So let's put the carrot here, another one. And let's put, say... What is a nice... Pumpkin is 77, radish is 55. Let's put the radish here. So, this is the crop layer. Now, this is the bush layer. Let's put... What is nice? Tomato or tomato. Bell pepper. Let's put the bell pepper, pepper here. And... Eggplant. Raspberry. I think eggplant is nicer. And these. And now you can put a tree behind there. Let's put the cherry tree, why not? And maybe a lemons, 66. Yeah. Already have a lemon tree in here. And what you can do is you can either click, click and collect them yourself. Or you can let these blue fur balls as I just called them um, collect them for you I have 34 of them you gain them by expanding as it shows here and you gain them by leveling up sometimes, not always also, you might have noticed that there are stars here well because I have everything unlocked now everything the game has right now then leveling up instead of giving you new things to plant or new animals to get to buy instead now it gives you star ratings what does star rating mean? well it means uh, each star means that this item now gives one more gold
So these carrots and these turnips and these pumpkins now give one more star, uh, one more gold each. And these uh, are these turnips and carrots give two. You also have these uh, wolves trying to get the cows. I have guard dogs protecting, and you can also hire uh, or not hire. Set up scarecrows. I'll put one here. Scarecrows only work on birds. Birds try to steal your crops as well. Those foxes try to get to your sheep. Not your sheep, sorry. Sheep is wolves. Your chickens. Level 44. As you can see, 44 gave me a gold star here. So now this gives 33 and these also give 33. Interesting, it doesn't seem... Yeah, it is 1 because I have an 11 times multiplier. So basically every star gives 11 instead of 1. Which is nice. You can also... Uh, this game isn't uh, uh, made for offline ballet. Usually clickers or idle games are. So here you can you can make it. The alarm clock increases the time your helpers work while you are away from the game. I have had 12 hours. So this game is it bent, isn't made for offline play, but you can make it to be. Let's put another scarecrow here, and let's hire a tent card dog, and let's expand again. What should we do next? Let's take, let's take a turnip. And let's take a thing, yeah, cabbage. Let's take a raspberry bush and a tomato. Clank, clank, clank. This is also something that can uh, spawn on your uh, farm. Every clicker or idle game has a mechanic where occasionally you can get more gold than, than is normal and this game's version is this this hero who just runs through your through your garden this hero also cleans up all foxes, wolves and rabbits rabbits will steal your carrots as you would expect. But yeah, I hope uh, that there... I feel like maybe there is another animal they could add. Maybe even more crops. I'm not sure uh, what they plan to do next to the game. I mean, this game does not include microtransactions, so it is possible that they might eventually stop developing it. But so far it has been pretty fun. I have to say. There a ladybug somewhere. I want to level up. I have 35 helpers. I need more. Because I don't... Uh, 35 for, for a place of this size is not enough. That's for sure. Let's put apples. More apples. Let's also put another chicken. And another pig. And another pig. And a sheep. Can't afford another sheep. That's pretty much how I play this game. Level 45 gave me a helper. 
and Pierce, I believe. 44. Pierce got the star. Now, idle or clicker games you can play for efficiency. I don't think my garden is efficient, but I don't mind, as long as it uh, looks good. And is varied, like this. Sure, sometimes there are two of the same trees next to each other, but why not? The garden is so big that variety can still be here. I do enjoy my clicker or idle games and I want to show you more of them in the future. Let you know that I am playing this type of games while rendering videos. Except now, because I won't... I'll try not to record during the render. And yeah, if you want to see more idle games uh, sh being shown off, including this one, including Plantera, then let me know. I have something planned for them. So keep an eye out and also let me know, but then I can maybe do it quicker. Is there a ladybug? Yes, there is. Look at this mess. This is a lot of stuff here. Ladybugs give a lot of gold and the uh, XP. They were added uh, in the la latest uh, update and, and they are the... Oh, hello. Let's get as much gold out of you as possible. As much gold as possible. Got quite a bit. I'm almost level 46. I wonder if the game has a maximum level. I'm gonna reach that. For sure. But yeah, I do, I do believe that the idle games do have a place. And for me, they are a nice time sink. When I want to do something at the PC, on the PC, while something is rendering. Level 46 gave me a second star to pigs. Pigs are nice because look at the amount of items they can give you. 33 gold, 55 gold, 77 gold and 187 gold. That is a lot. Not even the cows can give that much. For now. They will get the multiplier soon. With the gold star. I believe the gold stars can go up to 5 stars. And then you're maxed out. Let's get to 13 hours. So this has been Plantera. I think I have shown you enough of it. To let you know what it is about. And... Uh, you can decide yourself. I mean... Most... Uh, idle games are free. This one has a 3 euro price tag. But the difference is that most idle games which are free 
have a microtransaction store to give you an advantage of sorts but this game does not this game you pay 3 euros for and you are good to go forever or until as long as you have all 5 stars everywhere I'll get back to you once I reach that point Oh, another one. This recording session has been a lucky one. I usually get them really rarely. Now, three times. In a row, almost. And my garden is so huge that it takes a while for it to... get through here so that's nice I will expand soon again anyway yeah this has been Plantera and uh, I'm sure you have been able to form your thoughts because this video has been going on for a while now and I'll see you next time in another episode of Average Previous and even back in this game soon, one day. I will make a progress update. Once I reach uh, the point... Once I reach a certain point in the game. So thank you for watching and I'll see you. Yeah, as I said already. Bye!